Good morning, good morning. It's Friday. I don't really expect anybody to really be up on here because 6.39 in the morning. And so I know either getting ready for work or doing, I just dropped Angelo off um, to work this morning. Um, having issues with our truck, so we're down to one vehicle for now. Um, but I thank God that I still have the ability to jump into another vehicle and drop them off. And so I'll be grateful in that. But I was coming on here. Good morning, Curtis. I just wanted to do a little bit of, um, I was reflecting. Me and my mom was having a conversation yesterday. And it kind of, it made me think about some stuff. Um, and to her, I was telling her that it's going to be times, and I'm telling you guys too, it's going to be times that you're going to do some things that the spirit leads you to do that other people don't agree with you know um other people won't understand and even sometimes even if it's not the spirit hopefully you get all your steps from the spirit but even if it's not the spirit even if it's just something that you know that you need to do for yourself like you have to be careful who you go and get your advice your permission from because there's going to be some things that you do in your life that other people aren't going to understand you know um other people are not going to agree with and it's going to be for you for yourself to decide do i do this or not let me use my surgery as an example um many of you know five years ago i did have the gastric sleep surgery um, I was able to lose 140 pounds from it. I could not get my insurance and United States to pay for it. And so my husband and I, we went to Mexico. We went to Mexico and I had the gastric sleep surgery. And besides my husband, nobody else was behind me to go to Mexico. And I can understand that they wasn't behind me because they were afraid for me, you know? And the they was afraid of the unknown. Now I had done my research and I felt like at 515 pounds that if I did not go, I was gonna die anyway. And so I needed to do what was best for me. No matter who agreed, and I'm telling you, everybody that I was used to relying on to help lead me in a direction. Everybody that I was used to getting advice from, everybody that I was used to rooting me on, was like, no, Re, that's my name. I'm downtown with all of these buildings, so they're blocking my reception, and the phone is going out. So I drive and, and talk, but I'm gonna pay attention to the road, and y'all pay attention to what my words. And so what I was saying was, no, nobody besides my husband was in line with what I I wanted to do. But like I said, it was because they was afraid, afraid of the unknown. And sometimes guys in life, you're gonna have to do some unknown things. You're gonna have to do some things that people around you have not done if you're looking to reach different levels in your life. And so if you're out here and you're watching this video, and there's things that you've been praying about and things that you've been trying to do and you feel like your spirit, your gut, your all being is dragging you in one direction by however everybody else around you can't understand where you're going, keep pushing, keep pushing. You have to do what's best for you. My surgery was best for me. My surgery, it helped me to, to be able to get some of the weight off of me to where now I'm, I'm not in pain. I was in really bad pain when I went and had that surgery. Um, I had really bad anxiety, depression. Like I had a lot of things going on right before I had my surgery. And so my surgery, what was best for me, my surgery was what I needed to do. And others couldn't understand. Going to Mexico, the country where you don't speak that language, the country where you don't know where you're going, the country where you're not gonna get any follow-up care when you come back, the country where yada, 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 so much different stuff, and I understood. Even my doctor was like, no, 
don't go. And so I, I understood the fears, their fears of the unknown. But I also knew what I needed and where I was trying to go. And so if there's, like I was saying, if there's something that you're trying to do, you have to just do it. You pray, you believe in God, and you do it. Because sometimes there's going to be some things that others around you have not done before. And when we do new things, we're afraid and we're fearful. Don't let other people's fears stop you from your goals and your dreams. And so, love you all. I hope you all have a happy, happy, happy Friday. I know this video had cut out. Um, I hope it was good enough to where the message sunk in. I'm going to go back and listen to it. And if it looks like it left off what the Spirit was trying to tell me to tell y'all, then I'll do it again. But hope it went good. Have a happy Friday. Love you all. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.